Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stay here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and let's get on with cat uh, with chapter three. Opus Primus. his bathroom. A door that was supposed to be my virtual off-ramp to freedom instead led me straight into a tiny bathroom boasting a nasty toilet and sink. Wait, what was the item? Oh. Clogged toilet. All life proceeds out of corruption from Prima Materia. According to Carl Jung, if you can look clearly at the excrement of your life, you can transform it into gold. Toilet is clogged with God knows what. Faucet spits brown water. It smells like a mixture of rancid cooked cauliflower and wet dog, like upchuck with chunks of rotten eggs or a dank skunk baby born in a dumpster. I think you get the putrid picture I'm painting, but at least it has a cracked mirror, which is useful. I was worried about how I looked. Baggy eyes, bad hair day. I'm a total mess. Nothing else. Nonetheless, it's a new room to explore and maybe find something useful. Nothing really. So, we as, so we as an outside observer know that he's hiding the pillars from us, but technically us as a player, we shouldn't be able to know that. It's just we do because of first, third, first, second, third, fourth walls, so. Uh, I guess let's, I don't have anything to work with. We need more clues. I don't give a fuck what your name is, dude. I was thinking that if it is one of my patients, maybe he's forcing me to finish what I started, you know? Maybe the reason I'm here is to continue with his therapy. I'm trying to find common link between my patients. I seem to bump into the same thought every time. These familiar problems, loneliness, and the feeling of being lost. Wait, I hear something. That's strange. Sounds like little bells ringing from the corner of the room. Let me check it out. I'll return after a short commercial break. That was already chapter three. Uh, Thirty-two per uh, the detectives. Okay, so thirty-two percent of the users, including you, possess the power of observation, deduction, and constructive imagination. I wish it let me see what the other one said. I just don't feel like my reasoning for asking him that is I just don't feel like knowing his name is important. If you were trying to help, like if you were trying to help him out. You tell him to keep searching for clues, eventually you'll find, like, 
he didn't introduce himself and neither did we. So that's that's my whole reasoning right there. And guys, that's the end of this episode. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing if you did. Uh, like I said, these might be short ones. I wasn't expecting this chapter to be so short, but uh, who knows? Maybe the next one will be longer. Guys, always, always, always remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and Quinn and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, later days.